Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday. No hesitation there on what day it was. Can you believe it? Only because I know it's Monday. I actually, cheers to you, having my um, Pro Sculpt. Um, leftover blue on my mouth after I had that. Um, but here's the thing. Oh, my hair is all over the place. Um, I don't have my music on because it's really early in the morning and I'm trying to be um, polite because, can you hear? Yeah, that's right. You don't hear anything crazy, do you? I cannot even tell you guys how happy I am and how wonderful it is to be in this new place because I sleep in my own bed. I hadn't been, someone's Skyping me already. Good God, I'm not even at my office desk yet, people. Um, I, I actually sleep in my own bed at my old house. I had to sleep on the couch um, every night because the um, mutants that were living below me, the, the children um, were below my bedroom. So I just got, I had gotten to the point where I was sleeping um, in my, uh, on my couch, because I do have a very, very, I'm having my breakfast. I'm going to get to that in a second. I have a wonderful, very comfortable couch. So it's not really like, um, it's not that much of a torture to sleep on my couch, but we should be able to sleep in our bedrooms, right? So I'm actually sleeping in my bedrooms. It's about 7.30 in the morning right now. You know, I also am trying to be polite. Obviously, I, I've always had that silly thing called consideration for other people. Um, but I don't want to like have my music on and shoot a vlog and be talking really, really loud. Um, because you never know, the people um, above me or, you know, since I have my back door open. Um, anyway, so I'm just being a little quiet for the moment. But I thought before I started my day, because I usually never have calls in the morning, I schedule all of my calls in the afternoons so that I can have you know, afternoons are for meetings, Monday, uh, during the day, excuse me, gosh, during the morning is for like catching up and, and then I do my workouts and then I shower, have lunch and hit the rest of the day. And then I work until the evenings usually. But, um, today I actually have, I looked at my schedule. It's a good thing I looked at my calendar before I came in here. Cause I'm like, Oh, apparently I felt it was okay to schedule a nine o'clock at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning. It's not the actual appointments, it's just the fact that I schedule that, especially on Monday for myself, is really, really annoying. A couple of things um, for today. I have so much to tell you guys, um, but again, I'm finally settled in. Um, it really wasn't until probably Thursday of last week that I could say things were really settled into to feel normal here. A couple of side notes. Number one, every single part of my leg has a bruise on it. I, I think that I have had a box either land on my leg, bump into my leg, or my legs have bumped into corners or shelves or whatever. I wish, I wonder if I can show you guys. I'm gonna see if I can show you this on my, on my one leg here. Because, of course it's not gonna look as bad. I don't even know if I can show you this. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna do this because I'm obsessed with showing you. Hold on. Can you see that, that bump on my leg? And I don't even know if you can see it from the side. Do you see how it's sticking up? Oh crap. Is it still recording? <laughs> Sorry people. Do you see? I'm, I'm tipping my damn camera. It's going up. Do you see that? It's like, so I don't even know if you can really tell. That thing rammed into my table. And yesterday, it was so many different colors of black and blue, but all over the rest of my leg. <laughs> see, got my workout shoes ready to go. Um, let's see if we're still recording. Yeah. Um, so, I have black and blue marks all over and then scratches, like a scratch here, black and blue marks here. I mean, I'm just literally like, 
I beat myself up with this move. Not on purpose, of course, but I was looking down at my legs because I was going to a pool party yesterday, and uh, I was like, mother of God, what is, what did I do to myself? And then my friend Linda saw me and she's like, God, Kelly, what's going on up there? Mr. Flo, there you go, Mr. Flo. I have to say, feeling very good, feeling like I need to go tanning. Um, but so number one, my legs are bruised all over and I, I mean, literally, I, I had no idea that I ran into that many pieces of furniture while I was moving. Secondly, I've become familiar with, apparently there's a brand or breed of uh, animals called, or bugs called no or maybe that's just what people call them, but I have been getting bit, especially on my feet with these little, tiny, tiny, like mini mosquito bites. Let me tell you, I woke up this morning, I think I have 25 bites on each foot. Now, I think that they were happening at the pool party yesterday. Maybe it's something out here where I moved. I'm just gonna figure out how we get rid of these no bugs because I literally have 25 bites on each foot. In between my toes, I have like, like one, two, three little bites, and then there's another one, and, and they itch and... <sighs> By the way, what am I eating? This is like I'm obsessed with, I told you guys I made this as a mistake one time, my eggs this way, and this is how I like to eat my eggs every morning. So I basically put two, um, I get my, you know, free range, organic, brown, um, cage free, hormone free, you know, all the good stuff. Eggs from Trader Joe's, I put them in a bowl, I do put some egg whites in because I like how the egg whites, if you put the egg whites in and then stir it up, makes it really fluffy. It adds some fluffiness as opposed to just having two eggs. So I put two eggs and then I don't know how much liquid egg whites. Stir it up, put it in the pan, and then walk away. Because this was at my last house when I told you guys, I used to do this a lot, where I would put something on the stove and or I'd start the bath water and I'd run in and start working and totally forget and then my bath water's like overflowing. Um, so I came back in and it was almost like this pancake. So I just flip it over. That's how I like to have my eggs. Now sometimes, because you see how it's like a pancake? See that? Um, then sometimes I'll take some uh, of my red pepper hummus and I will put it on top. But most of the times I just eat it plain. And exhibit A, can you see this? Uh, it's black coffee. Because I'm not going to tilt this over again. I almost lost you guys before. I don't want to lose you. But believe it or not, oh, the sun's coming out. I'm drinking black coffee. Nothing in there. No stevia, no Splenda, obviously. No cream, no coconut oil, no nothing. Just black coffee. Does take some getting used to. Don't get me wrong. So I'm not going to tell you guys like, oh, it's no big deal. When I have a cup of coffee, I'm absolutely thinking about like, hmm, wouldn't this be nice if this was a cappuccino with 18 Splendas in it? Old habits die hard. But um, it's easy. It's, it's um, it, you know, I told you guys I had cut out coffee before and I was having green tea at my old house. And then, then honestly, because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for the water to boil. And I'm also annoyed by tea, how it stains your damn cups. So I just kind of got out of having tea because it was just annoying me. Um, and if I could have that lovely Japanese lady from the sushi place in Seattle, like come to my house every day and make me a pot of that green tea and serve it to me, that sounded very arrogant. I didn't mean to sound it that way. It just means that like, I don't want to deal with the dishes and it's staining my dishes. I would drink it all day. That's the best tea. And I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm going to. That Sugimoto tea or whatever it is. But anyway, so here's the deal. I'm telling you guys what I'm eating. I'm telling you I'm having black coffee. I have been paleo since I came back. Um, I probably started to transition into paleo um, while I was out at the CrossFit Games. And, and honestly, if you guys are asking why, it wasn't that I thought, you know, oh, I'm going to do this. Um, yes, it's about helping with my diet. It, it's as much about helping with my fat loss goals as it is helping with, um, you know, my stomach ache and just eating better, right? And remember, 
this is the person that read that book about a year, a year and a half ago, and I'm like, there is no way I'm ever going to be able to do that. And yet, here, I have done it, I want to say, almost effortlessly. Um, it's been easy for me this past several months to just transition. I don't know if it's just because I, instead of going hardcore and cutting out everything overnight, I just focused on adding more stuff, and then the other stuff just fell away, like when I just deleted my coffee that one time, is because I just got up one day and said, wow, everything I'm eating is great, and then I'm getting up in the morning and having this big cup of coffee with all this Splenda and, you know, bad coffee meat. And, and so I thought, let's just try it and see if I can do it, and I did. And sometimes I think when you just surprise yourself, whether it's a workout, whether it's sticking with something or, or giving something up, you know, once you know you can do it, it spurs you on to keep doing more. And I certainly think that, well, I certainly know that that's what's going on with me. So all I'm going to tell you guys is, holy crap, I'm all here. I already 11 minutes. It has been really a lot easier for me to transition into paleo than I thought. I was already not having dairy, right? I've cut out any remaining, I'm trying to think if I was having, here's the thing in the past month or so, like if I would have gone to a party and they would have had like tomato, you know, the tomato mozzarella and the, the basil, um, if they would have had something like that, I would have eaten it and, and I would have had the mozzarella. Um, or I'm trying to think, not necessarily anything else, but like something like that or cheese on a salad. Um, I wouldn't have been like, oh, take off every remaining thing of cheese. I'm really focusing on not having any dairy. The only thing that I have had that is dairy is, um, like I'm not doing butter, not doing anything, is um, I do still have a little bit of Parmesan cheese left in there, and I did put it on my eggs one time just to sprinkle. Um, and I probably should, I mean, I think that's because I didn't realize that Parmesan has no lactate or lactose or whatever, so a little of that isn't going to hurt my stomach. But Transitioning to the black coffee, again, it's not the way I would ideally like to have my coffee, but I gotta tell you guys, since since the Monday that I, so I've, this is, will this be two weeks that I've been home? Wait, I got home last Monday. No, I've only been home a week, is that right? Last Monday I was moving, maybe it is two weeks. It's It's been a blur, forgive me. Um, I I feel better in the last two weeks and I've lost more weight and I notice myself in the mirror every day um, and I gotta tell you like you know when you move you're not on your regular workout game so I think like Friday Saturday so even with that all I'm telling you is that paleo is agreeing with me I feel better I have energy I'm not walking around going oh you know what am I not eating I like what I'm eating um, some of you guys are written to me this is what I typically have for breakfast. I was typically having this for breakfast before. Um, eggs and coffee, although I was having just eggs and water before. So I have a cup of black coffee. Um, in a couple of hours, I'll have uh, an egg protein shake. So I'm using the GNC egg protein shake, um, which I freaking love. And then I'll do my workout, shower, blah, blah, blah. For lunch, um, the past week with being moving, um, I had a lot of fast food meaning I would go out and, and what would I do for fast food? I would go to Wendy's, for example, and I would get a um, either chicken and have just the chicken with the lettuce, tomato, and onion on it, no bun, or I would have the, um, like a single with no cheese on it and have just the lettuce, tomato, and whatever, and I would eat it with a fork. Um, so I had a lot more fast food meals because you're moving and I had no groceries. I think my phone's ringing. I'm sorry about the really long vlog, you guys. It's already 15 minutes. I gotta shut up. So that's what I was having. But now that I'm here, um, last week when I went shopping, we went to Aldi's. Um, we were doing that Anytime Fitness Survive on 35. So I got for $35 a week's worth of paleo food. Um, wild salmon. Oh, there's some guy coming to my door. Wild salmon. I have no idea why someone's here. I gotta go. No idea what they're doing. I'll call you later. I mean, I'll start you later. Bye.